There's another direction following activity. I want you to pay attention while you're working through this to some of the formulas that get put into this sheet. This is real stuff that people do for a living. This will do a couple things for you. Number one, expose you to the technology, expose you to spreadsheet formulas. Number two, give you hopefully a better appreciation for variables, the power of variables. Each of these boxes inside of a spreadsheet has a name. This box up top is called A1. Uh, if, I, if I move down here, this box is E19. You can see each of them has a letter and a number associated with it. And I have the ability to uh, create formulas. For example, I'm down at E27 right now. If I say E27 equals D27, notice it highlights the box next to it, column D, box 27, times 3, that's a formula. All right, right now it says 0. There's nothing in this box. But if I watch, watch box E27 when I change box D27. So I'm going to put a 6 in here. 18. 6 times 3 is 18. If I put 20 in here, all right, it, the boxes are linked by a formula. Whatever number I put in D27, E27, because of the formula, you can see it up top here, multiplies that number by 3. So this is what's going to happen. You're going to choose an item from the shopping tab below. Shopping tab is down at the bottom of the screen. You're going to choose an item. All right, you put a bunch of items in here. I don't really care which one you pick. Pick an item. Some more down here. You are going to pretend you pay for that item with a credit card that has an annual percentage rate of 24% and a minimum payment of $30 each month. We're going to pretend that you pay the minimum $30 each month until it's all the way paid off. So put a 30 in each green box. Got these green boxes down here. 30, 30. Uh, sorry, I missed this part. Choose an item, put the full price of that item, including ship, shipping if listed in the blue box. All right, I'm going to put $251. None of the items is that. You're going to have to pick an actual item, but $251. Put this formula in the yellow box equals B12 minus C12. Notice this B12 minus C12. I want this to be a formula. I don't want you to subtract in your head and say 251 minus 30 is 221. I want you to put a formula. There's a reason for that. Equals B12 minus C12. Put this formula in the purple box. Again, I want it to be a formula. Equals A12 plus 1. And this formula in the red box. Equals D12 times 1.02. That is adding on the monthly interest. All right, a couple extra dollars. Copy the formula from the yellow box into the box below it. All right, I want you to edit, copy, edit, paste. I'm going to want you to look at that formula. You can see it up here. All right, I'm going to want you to compare these two formulas. Tell me what's different about them. Even though you copied and pasted, there's something different about it. And then, lastly, I want you to highlight the four boxes in row 13. So, one, two, three, four, highlighted. You're going to copy all four of them together. And again, if you want to highlight multiple boxes, you hold down the Shift key. I right, hold down the Shift key while you press the arrows. You're going to copy them, and you're going to paste them into the row below. All right. You're going to keep doing this until you get your remaining balance down to zero. Now, I don't like all these decimals when we're talking about money, so I'm going to come up here. It says decrease decimal places. 
I'm going to set it to two decimal places in both of these columns. Okay, two decimal places. That makes more sense with money. Now I'm going to keep pasting. All right, we got one dollar left. So the next month, I'm not going to actually pay thirty dollars. I'm going to pay one dollar forty-five cents to ooh, one dollar forty-eight cents to bring my balance to zero. All right, then you got some follow-up questions down here that you would answer with your particular item. Your item is going to be more expensive than I, my item, so it's going to take a few more rows. Anyway, that is the first task, looking at credit cards. All right, now, when you're all done with those questions, got an idea of that. You know, look at the opposite kind of end of the spectrum. Instead of you being in debt to someone, what about you investing money? We're going to look at two different people. First person is going to invest some money from the time they're 20 years old until the time they're 30 years old. And then they're going to leave it alone and let it keep growing until they're ready to stop working. Right, we'll say age 70. The second person is going to start investing money when they're 30, and they're going to keep investing all the way until they reach age 70. Right, and we're going to take a look at when does person number two catch up with person number one, or do they catch up with person number one uh, in terms of their investments. So again, there's going to be some directions, like for the credit card company, you're going to put certain formulas in certain boxes. Again, see if you can understand what the formula is saying, especially connected to the situation. What am I doing when I'm adding C2 to B2? What am I doing when I'm adding 1 to A2. What am I doing when I when I do this 1.07 times D2? What does that have to do with our investment situation? It has something to do with this 7% interest. Okay, this one, when you finish with all those directions, there'll be some follow-up questions as well.